Have you ever heard of stars that explode every 80 years and still don't die? We are about to witness a unique space explosion that is visible from everywhere. Unlike a supernova in which stars burn up completely in a gigantic firework display, an old star can also produce so-called nova explosions. The spectacle is similarly worth seeing, and we don't just see it once but again and again. A nova in the Corona Borealis system is about to explode, and we are excited to see it. Many people dream of seeing a nova with a naked eye from Earth. Novas are huge thermonuclear explosions that light up stars 150 times brighter for a short time. We will probably see the upcoming nova as one of the brightest points of light in the night sky for weeks. This is great news for space fans. This astronomical treat really doesn't come along every day. T. Coroni Borealis explodes about every 80 years, most recently in 1946, and now it's about to happen again. This celestial explosion promises to be one of the brightest and most striking celestial events of the decade. A nova occurs when two stars in a binary system interact with each other in a bizarre way, releasing a huge amount of energy. This then leads to an explosion and a sudden increase in brightness, so that a new star appears in the sky. Nova are not only fascinating to observe, but also highly interesting from a scientific point of view. It's sometimes unbelievable what happens in our universe and anyone who knows the true background to Nova will be amazed. Is a Nova really a star birth? You probably all know the origin of the term Nova. Nova comes from Latin and means new. Tycho Brahe, the famous 16th century Danish astronomer, coined the term when he suddenly observed a very bright new star in the night sky. He called this phenomenon Stella Nova, new star, or later just Nova for short. For him, with the technical possibilities of the time, it really did look as if a new star had been born. However, what the astronomers observed at the time was not the birth of a star but a violent eruption with a subsequent thermonuclear explosion in an existing star system. A nova is actually a rather short but extremely bright flash of a white dwarf star. White dwarfs are formed when stars the size of our sun have used up their fuel supplies. Instead of exploding, they lose a lot of their size and shrink. White dwarfs, which exist in binary systems, can then have the property of sucking matter from their partner star. As soon as a critical mass is reached, the explosion occurs, which we can then see as a nova. The difference between a nova and a supernova is simple. The nova is formed in a binary system where a white dwarf accumulates matter from a companion star. The white dwarf is not destroyed by the explosion. It can even produce several novas over thousands of years. Supernovae are much more intense events in which a star is completely destroyed by the explosion. Type IA supernovae are special features that are similar to simple novas. Once again, a white dwarf is involved. However, in this case, the white dwarf accumulates so much matter that it no longer survives this final explosion and disintegrates. The brightest supernova brightnesses are those of type 2, in which a massive star with at least 8 solar masses collapses at the end of its life. The brightness of a nova is impressive, but it is much fainter than that of a supernova. What we will soon see is a simple nova of a small white dwarf, which will not perish in the process but will give us a great light show. When the time comes, the white dwarf will show a sudden increase in brightness of more than a thousand times. Such events are usually only visible with telescopes, but in this case, the nova is so close that we can see it with our own eyes. Basically, the brightness of nova and supernova that we can see from Earth always depends on the distance on how far away they are. A nearby nova can appear brighter to us than a very distant supernova. The next supernova visible from Earth will be the explosion of the star Betelgeuse. Researchers do not yet know exactly when this will be, perhaps tomorrow, perhaps not for a few thousand years. However, we will certainly see the nova of the white dwarf T. Coroni Borealis, and the next one will almost certainly come in 80 years. Perceptibly visible despite being 3,000 light years away, it's actually incredible. T. Coroni Borealis is more than 3,000 light years away from us, and yet we will be able to see it very well with a naked eye. The binary system is located in the constellation Corona Borealis. This white dwarf is an extremely dense compact remnant of a former Sun like star. After the original star had used up its nuclear fuel, its core collapsed, the outer layers were ejected, and a white dwarf remained. The companion star from which the white dwarf is extracting material is a red giant. 
This star is also nearing the end of its life and has begun to expand. These outer layers are gradually attracted to the white dwarf and accumulated until the conditions are right for a thermonuclear explosion. This explosion will then dramatically increase the brightness of the white dwarf and give us a nova. According to predictions, the nova will reach a brightness of about 2.5 magnitude. This means that the apparent new star will then be one of the brightest objects in the night sky for a few days or even weeks. Even if you live in the city and in places with high light pollution, you will be able to see the bright spot in the night sky with a naked eye. The constellation Corona Borealis is also referred to as the Northern Crown. On some German star charts, you can easily find the constellation because its semicircular shape makes it really easy to recognize in the northern sky. It lies between the two somewhat better-known constellations of Boötes and Hercules. If you look between the two, you'll see some very bright stars forming an arc. This is the Corona Borealis. The brightest star at the top of the arc is Alfeca, sometimes referred to as Gemma. From Alfeca, you can easily trace the other stars of the arc and easily recognize the entire constellation of the Northern Crown. It's best to look in that direction now and memorize the constellation. After the explosion, a very bright new star will be visible there. This is the Nova. The best time to see the Nova will be late in the evening when Corona Borealis is high in the sky. A thermonuclear catastrophe every 80 years, it's crazy. We're enjoying a fantastic glow on Earth, and a devastating inferno is actually taking place in this world 3,000 light years away. The impending nova in the T. Coroni Borealis system is an event that occurs in a certain sequence every 80 years. The first known eruption of T. Coroni Borealis was observed in 1866. During this time, a bright star suddenly appeared in the night sky, which was noticed and recorded by many astronomers at the time. This phenomenon was repeated in 1946, exactly 80 years after the first observation. The 1946 eruption was studied in even greater detail by astronomers worldwide. Further historical reports by an abbot named Bertrand von Herberge from the year 1270 show that the nova has been a companion of mankind for a very long time. Herberge noted an unusual brightening in the region of Corona Borealis. In recent years, astronomers have observed increased activity in the T. Corona Borealis system. Since 2015 and 2016, there have been repeated unusual variations in brightness and a dramatic increase in radio and X-ray emission, both clear indications of an imminent eruption. The observations are also similar to the activity documented by astronomers during the earlier eruptions in 1866 and 1946. As early as 2018 and 2023, there were remarkable fluctuations in brightness that made researchers sit up and take notice. They compared their data with the data from 1946 and found astonishing similarities. These recurring signs almost certainly indicate that the next nova will occur in September 2024. Then, we may see a light that is one of the brightest in the night sky for a few weeks. This white dwarf will probably produce many more novas after this explosion. It may take millions of years before it collapses completely or triggers a type IA supernova. We don't know the exact number of possible novas. We have not been observing the phenomenon long enough for that. Scientists have calculated in simulations that the quantity and periodicity of novas depend on several factors. In addition to the amount of accumulated matter and the efficiency of the accretion process, it's the rotations of both stars as well as the discrepancies that the two have on each other in a periodic nova system such as T. Corona Borealis. The white dwarf continuously attracts matter from its companion star, a red giant, and this matter then forms the accretion disk. The mass slowly reaches the surface of the white dwarf. Now, of course, the question arises as to why the sucked-in matter then explodes. The accumulated matter on the surface of the white dwarf consists mainly of hydrogen. When the mass of this hydrogen layer reaches a critical density, thermonuclear reactions begin. The reactions release enormous amounts of energy. Think of it like a giant hydrogen bomb when it goes off, there is a sudden explosive brightening, and the nova becomes visible. We are looking forward to even more novas. Systems with white dwarfs and red giants are such extreme places that they are certainly no longer inhabited. So, we can continue to innocently enjoy the beauty of novas. While all eyes are currently on T. Corona Borealis, we can announce that there will soon be more novas in other star systems. Another periodic nova system is R.S. Afyuki. 
which consists of a white dwarf and a red giant. The last eruption occurred in 2006, and as this system has a periodicity of only about 20 years, we will see the next nova as early as 2026. In the U.S. Scorpii system, there is a bang every 10 years. But since this system is 47,600 light years away from us, you'll need a good telescope to witness the next beacon spectacle. Nova explosions, occurring every 80 years, offer a spectacular glimpse into the cosmic drama of binary star systems. Unlike supernovae, where stars are completely obliterated in a dazzling display, novas involve a white dwarf star accumulating matter from a companion star, often a red giant. This process leads to a critical mass buildup on the white dwarf surface, triggering a thermonuclear explosion that temporarily increases its brightness by thousands of times. One upcoming celestial event, eagerly anticipated by astronomers and space enthusiasts alike, is the nova eruption in the T. Coroni Borealis system. Located more than 3,000 light years away in the constellation Corona Borealis, this binary system is set to dazzle the night sky with its sudden burst of brightness. Predicted to reach approximately 2.5 magnitudes, the nova will make T. Coroni Borealis one of the brightest objects visible to the naked eye for weeks. The historical significance of nova stretches back centuries, with notable observations recorded as early as 1270 by astronomers like Bertrand von Herberge. The cyclic nature of nova eruptions, witnessed in 1866 and 1946, highlights their periodicity, occurring every 80 years in the case of T. Coroni Borealis. This regularity provides astronomers with a unique opportunity to study the evolution of binary star systems and the physics behind thermonuclear reactions. From a scientific perspective, novas offer insights into the life cycle of stars and the mechanisms of energy release in extreme environments. While novas are not as cataclysmic as supernovae, they represent significant events in stellar evolution where a white dwarf's fate hinges on its ability to accrete and process material from its companion. The visibility of novas varies with their distance from Earth, with closer novas appearing brighter in the night sky compared to more distant supernovae. This proximity allows novas like T. Coroni Borealis to be observed with the naked eye, enhancing their appeal to amateur and professional astronomers alike. Looking ahead, the study of novas continues to evolve with advances in observational technology and theoretical modeling. Scientists simulate nova eruptions to understand the conditions that lead to these explosions and their impact on surrounding stellar environments. Each nova event adds to our understanding of cosmic phenomena, offering a glimpse into the energetic processes shaping the universe beyond our solar system. As we await the next eruption of T. Coroni Borealis in September 2024, Astronomers are poised to capture and analyze the event's intricacies. This ongoing exploration promises new revelations about the dynamics of binary star interactions and the role of novas in the broader context of galactic evolution. Nova events like the one in T. Coroni Borealis exemplify the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our universe, where even seemingly distant cosmic events can captivate and inspire curiosity about the cosmos.